What's going on, everybody? This is Jesse Carter over at the Pro Wrestling Shoot. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is a podcast that can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Every single Wednesday before AEW Dynamite, we dive into some of your favorite current day wrestling as well as some old school stuff. We can also be found over on YouTube and Twitch where we post exclusive video, whether it be content for video games or wrestling news or short clips or even live streams. Come check us out and subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Shoot over on YouTube and Twitch. And if you want to find us on our social medias, it's at the Pro Wrestling Shoot on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok, and over on Twitter at TPWS Podcast. The Pro Wrestling Shoot is not only just a podcast, we are also an independent company when it comes to audio engineering and graphics designs, as well as voiceovers so come and follow us over on our social medias and check us out every single wednesday over on apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, and spotify yo what's up it's the people's rapper john connor and you checking in with my man conrad and everything pro wrestling y'all know what it is blue city club you know folks welcome to everything pro wrestling everything pro wrestling is a show by the fans for the fans, I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by my co-host, the one, the only, the man they call Derek. Derek, how are you? Yo, yo, yo. What is going on? Um, we are going to be reviewing AEW Dynamite for April 12th, 2023. It was an episode of Dynamite, we will say. Lots to talk to, lots to get into, including some news about CM Punk and potentially coming back to AEW. We've got all that and more on this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. Let's get it. Ah, yes. It's that wonderful time of the year. Uh, apologies for being late. The dinner came back to haunt me, y'all. Like I came in front, so I'll uh, I'll take that L. But I hope everyone in the chat is doing well tonight. I appreciate you guys. I know the views uh, have we haven't had as many people in here, man. I'm, I'm blaming that all access, man. They're killing me. You're killing me with this, Tony. But uh, we're gonna make it happen for you guys. I hope everyone is enjoying their day today. Uh, D, what's been going on with you, bro? Ah, same old, same old, man. Just maintaining, trying to get through this crazy, chaotic life. Sports. Never a dull moment. Never, ever. Can't forget the Bev. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> nah, I feel you on that, man. Uh, it is not easy no. all the time when it comes to it. Um, but big shout out to everyone in the chat. Let's get let's get to the shout outs real quick. Uh, everything pro wrestling. What up, Terrell 317? He says that segment between Sting, Darby, and MJF was elite. AEW again advertises AEW London, but not Chicago. Conrad, I may be right. I think Chicago show is getting canceled. We'll see. I I don't think it is. <laughs> I think Tony's gonna put it. I think right now. If we're going to call this, uh, for lack of better terms, nut cutting, Tony, Tony's putting them on the table. That he he's, is. He's putting them on the table. I feel like he's showing his ass a lot this year. Think about it, man. He's doing a bunch of big shows. You got Double or Nothing, Forbidden Door, All In, All Out, and Grand Slam. That's a lot, bro. Yeah, that 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 is a lot on the plate. Matt Lopez says, good evening. What up, Matt? Uh, Derek and Conrad, salute. What up, everyone? What up, Deanna? Uh, Matt Lopez says, they won't announce All Out until they have Double or Nothing to promote and still uh, All In isn't listed as a pay-per-view. I peeped that. We were talking earlier. Max, the new home of uh, – for HBO Max is gone, and now it's going to be called The Max with uh, Discovery. Is there anything on Discovery? Does someone pay for Discovery? What's on there? Dr. Pimple Popper? Like, was there anything else on there? Uh, bro, I don't know what else is on there, dude. BJ, what up? BJ said the show was okay. Yeesh. Uh, Terrell comes back to Matt and says, here's the problem. All in is August 27th. All out is the weekend of Labor Day. They're not doing back-to-back pay-per-views. They're going to cancel Chicago. We'll see. I don't, I don't think they are. 
Uh, I know it seems like they're holding off on announcing it, if at all. Give them time. Uh, I feel like the outcasts are falling flat too quickly in the shield bomb. They are already taking out too many things, in my opinion, to add to that. Uh, Terrell, there's a chance of Warner Brothers Discovery announcing that new hybrid stream. Could be. Uh, it sounds like you're grandfathered in. Derek was asking me that question earlier. He said, I better be grandfathered in. Yeah, because I'm not paying extra for nothing. Mm -mm. Right? Right? Oh, chat, by the way, I definitely missed all of the Rampage and Dynamite matches. So when we get towards the end, someone please, if you find it, send me a screenshot. Let a brother know something. Uh, <laughs> Bullet Club Gold, baby. Uh, we got the apples in here. Is that for spitting in the face of people who want to be cool? Deanna said, yay, Derek is back. Doug says, hey, yo. What's good, Doug? B-Boy says, you was good. Hey, Zeus. Delio. What's up, Conrad? Derek, EP Dub, what's good? Ace in the house, what up, Conrad? Derek, chat. He's throwing up the, we the ones, oos. The Will Jacks effect, what's going on, bro? He said, hey, everything, pro wrestling, what's good? What is good, man? Make sure you guys are hitting that like button if you're in here. I want to see 16 likes. Uh, if you're watching on another forum, feel free. Come over to the YouTube. Help us out with that. B-Boy saying London is calling Jocelyn on Twitch. I see you with the punk shirt. Oh, I didn't even know I had this on. I didn't even know I had this on. Uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy or Magic School Bus, I bet, Conrad. <laughs> what? Uh... Bill, 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 Bill. Um, no, nah, I'm a Magic I, School Bus guy. Yeah, yeah. Miss Fritz. Got to watch her. Magic School Bus. Uh, hey, Conrad, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. We'll be talking about uh, Jethro here in a moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know who who subscribed to Discovery, but I know it's got it's for Food Channel shows. Food Channel might get some people. Right, that's good. Ethan Page and Matt Hardy segment was all right. Derek, question. You think uh, Black is the one taking the title from OC? OC is getting worn down. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I would have to say yes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they do. I don't know. Thank you, Matt. Matt Lopez got my back. DM me those matches. Going full on Bullet Club Secret Weapon 2. Sweet. What up, Sonny? Sonny. Uh, the Will Jacks effect. I haven't been on here for a long minute. We got to change that, Will Jacks. We got to change that, baby. Come on back. I appreciate Come you, though. Come back. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, Terrell laid out his thoughts. We got this Wembley show coming up. Wembley show got a lot of people talking. Lots of talking going on. Uh, according to our good friends at Fightful Select, CM Punk has told AEW in recent months he wants to return to the company. He has also pitched numerous scenarios in which he would return, including a willingness to work with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Peculiar, eh? Very. Um, I don't know how to feel about this, D. I think a lot of people are upset, but uh, I'm going to go to you first for once on this. How uh, do you feel about Mr. CM Punk uh, doing his thing? I'm excited if he comes back. I'm I'm really hoping that he does because there is retribution to be had. It needs to happen. There needs to be Kenny Omega and the and the Bucks versus CM Punk and FTR. FTR is owed a tag team match by uh from the from the Bucks who uh so graciously keep Quack, yeah. quack. We'll just leave it at that. Quack, quack. Just kind of deflecting off to the side, you know. They always find something else to do right before. Yeah, yeah you know. it happens. Yeah. Ed Fry's in the house on Twitch as well, everybody. Make sure you check Ed out. What is good, Ed? Um. Yeah, I think it's quite interesting. If CM Punk, Extremely interesting. If CM Punk wants to come back and work, let this man work. Yes. I'm sick of it. Like, I got to I gotta bring up a lot of the BS scenarios that come along with all of this. Like, with CM Punk, bro, I think a lot of people are, are missing the bigger picture, Derek. Hear me out for a second. Chat, same thing. Hear brother out for a second. Just for a little bit. With CM Punk, 
I get that some people don't like punk. I want you to know there's a lot of people who are always punk haters. They've been hating on this man since Ring of Honor. I don't care. What you have to see here is what's on the table. Right. You need CM Punk. He's going to help you fill that stadium. I don't care. He's not really a draw. Who is then? Who is? That's what I'm going to ask people. Who is? Now, CM Punk's going to be needed. You want to help fill up these arenas and stadiums with all these shows you're going to do. Potentially, I should say. Because Terrell still thinks that all out ain't happening. I'm going to hold you to this. But, but, hear me out. With CM Punk coming back, why are people constantly, constantly, constantly saying things like, we don't need him, he's not a draw, all this frivolous bullshiggity that I keep hearing? It's it's not true. It's not true. The man definitely deserves a chance. Now, he has basically checked the ball up. Yes. The ball is in his hands. Do you want to come back? Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing to work with everybody. Right. And if they don't want to work with me, he and he even said that. He said that he won't work with them then if they don't want to work with him. Right. Check up. Now, here's the problem. If Kenny Omega and them say they don't want to work with them, you are management. Why would I trust you going forward? Tony, think about the bigger picture here for a second. Right. I don't trust management. There's going to be more problems. There may be more ass whippings dealt out. <laughs> Something bad is going to happen because someone's going to feel like you're sabotaging them right. or you don't want to work with me because you don't like me or I'm not in your friend circle. This is bad if they say no. Oh. I feel like the only way for them to stay face is to do that. Chat, if I'm crazy, you tell me. I get it. You don't want to work with someone who punched you. But you also walk around and some of these people claim to be, you know, like, oh, we're good people, blah, blah, blah. I've even heard the term Christian AF used on their uh, vlog shows. Turn the other cheek then, bro. Prove it. Prove you're, prove you're really about that talk that you talk all the time. Right. That's That's how I'm feeling with the CM Punk stuff. Yeah, it, all, own up to it. Just just be like, listen, all right, we had our little spat. Right now, it's about money. I want to get paid. You want to get paid. We'll put this aside, and let's do our thing. Let's put on a, on a show for the fans. Let's give them what they want, and we can go our separate ways. Not even that. And to the, idi the idiotic folks that say this won't draw money because they're already getting paid, you sell more shirts, don't you? You bring more eyes to the product, don't you? You bring more people in. Guess what happens to your asking price? Goes up. Guess who's about to have a contract coming up? Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. Make it go up. Be smart about this. That's all that I'm saying. Be very, very smart in how you lay this out, how you book yourself in this. It's it's key to me in how this is all going to work out. Um Agree or disagree, Derek? Because I let you hear Brian Alvarez talk about it earlier. Yeah. And I thought Brian Alvarez, here's the weird thing with him, too. He comes off as very snarky in these things when he was speaking. Even Derek said, like, his voice, what's up with him, like, doing that while he's yeah. talking? It it makes you sound like you have some type of vendetta against Punk. You, I haven't heard you once say, what are the positives to bringing CM Punk back? I don't hear them. If you're saying them, they're being overtaken by the negative things that you're saying. Is that because of me listening? Perhaps. Perhaps it could be. But you should look at both sides of this equation. Yeah, They need them. Listen, the Bucks and Omega will look like bad guys if they don't accept him coming back. The locker room does not need to be split into two. And if you're Tony Khan, you will all get into a room. You will all talk. I'm tired of this. Jericho, Colt, uh, Hangman, Hangman. That, that name wasn't mentioned, by the way, in the Fightful Select report. Peep that. He did not mention Hangman Page. Hangman, all those guys need to get into a room and squash this. They have to. They have to. It's There's no other way of doing it. Um, sit down. Stop being a bunch of crybabies and talk it over and handle it. Fix it. I don't care what you do with it. I don't care if you wipe your ass with it. Do, do something, but 
Let's let's get this going. It's it's time. It's time to make it happen. We're going to the comment section. I won't beat you guys over the head with it. The night he comes back will be unbearable. I promise you. Um, let us get into uh, some of these comments here. Uh, Terrell said, uh, could Bullet Club be going over with AEW, AEW London? I think we need to watch Bullet Club in New Japan. I think that's where we're going to see some uh, some forces awaken. Uh, Matt Lopez also mentioned OC is defending the International Championship this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the New Japan Show in Philadelphia against Gabriel Kidd on Fight. Gabriel Kidd's pretty dope. Uh, Cray says, it's a work. It's always been a work, LOL. CM Punk puts butts in seats, and uh, if told correctly, it can be a classic. Right. I agree. Uh, Matt Lopez says, there is money on the table for Punk to have matches with not just the elite MJF rematches. New Japan. I concur. Rated Tokyo says, Punk coming. Punk's coming. Uh, Will Jack says, in my honest opinion, CM Punk should come back and challenge Kenny Omega. Then the Young Bucks interfere. That's what I said. And then you turn it into a uh, six-man tag with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks versus CM Punk and FTR. I hate you guys, especially Kenny. Come on now, Doug. Uh, <laughs> he sent me a funny video in relation to that with uh, South Park. Will All In be AEW's WrestleMania in the coming years? P- possibly. It could be. I think it's going to depend on how well this show does. And this is why right. I really am encouraging people to support. By the way... I know that we're saying like, yeah, if they sell 50K, 60K, that's that's passing. But if I'm Tony Khan, we just talked about it before. I'm going to say it again. And I apologize if anybody hates the language. But it is nut cut in time. We are filling this damn arena, stadium, dome. We're filling all this shit up when we go to these places. There's no more games. 90,000, let's go for it. Right. Let's go for it. Tell people. You have no other choice. You got, dude, what is wrong with you going to this show? There is not, bro, England, if you starve that market a little bit, and then when you go there, you make people, you give them a card that they are like, oh, I got to have it. I got to have it. Right. Do it. And I really want this to be on that max. Oh, absolutely. If you're going to, yo, listen, we're taking the words HBO out, which I frankly think is stupid from a marketing standpoint. But if we're going to have the max, because Discovery has to be part of it. I, ooh, yo, don't get me started about Discovery. It's stupid, bro. Just be yeah. Warner Brothers. Just be HBO Max. But yeah. go in there and bust it out. Give the people the best card you can. Yeah. Give them whatever you can. Show off who you want to show off. You have plenty of cards to split people up. I, everybody's not going to be on this show. Oh, no, no. You can't. Mm-mm. You can't. But but you know what though I I think and you know you know what's crazy when you go to another country people show for that because they know it is going to be a long time before they get another one yeah and I don't hear no bitching about the start time that day either You're, the people in Europe always stay up for our shows I don't want to hear it do what you got to do that day if it's in the afternoon. Good goodness gracious, I'm happy. Yeah, but I really think that they're gonna. I think they're gonna put on a heck of a card, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. I I, I think I think they'll get close. To, I, do I want to see them uh, blow it out the water? Absolutely. But I think they'll get close to it. You think they're getting close to the sellout? I think they'll get close to it. Twenty five k signed up, man. If you guys are getting tickets, let me know. I want to hear who's going over there. If anybody is, let me know. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hey Zeus is oh excuse me Terrell said that he thinks that their WrestleMania is double or nothing. I oh okay. Some people say it's all out. Some people think I think Revolution's put on some banger cards. Some people yeah. Full Gear is the one where I never really hear anybody say like Full Gear is their best show, but I like Full Gear. Uh, let me see here. I feel like people be trolling when they say that, but people say the same thing about the Elite, which is not true as well. But uh, draw and the match will be money. Also, Kyra, I think the elite and punk stuff is squashed. I think the beef is with Jericho, Mox, and Punk now. Get over it. I don't want to hear from them either. I thought, in that, like I said, in that Moxley interview, Moxley had some weird flexes in there that I didn't like, like the whole, yeah, I don't even work here. I'm doing a favor. You're doing a favor for Tony. What's that got to do with CM Punk? Right. You're not doing him a favor. Punk puts asses in the seats. That is a fact. I don't even think it's going to be about turning the other cheek. Think those ducks are all about that money and know that's the ticket. Right. Mm. 
Matt Lopez said, save face. Uh, they have to suck it up for the fans, for the business. No one is asking you to be best friends, but to have a program, look at Riddle and Rollins, and they have issues. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You uh, have to bite the bullet. And I think Tony's got to show he's in charge. Yes. Uh, I like the OGs versus Outsiders vibe, uh, ver- the elite versus BCC of the women's division. What up, Eric? Uh, positively, E in the house. What up, E? He said, uh, this show was fire, B. Vince Mustache era is best for AEW. Gomez. Hangman is not innocent. Facts. <laughs> Will Jackson facts said, hug, hashtag hug it out. Hell yes, CJ. I want punk back. I don't give a bleep. Grow up and make some money. Uh, this is all on the elite acting like they're click heroes playing politics like HBK is home. That I do see a lot of uh click kind of things with them though. Yeah, getting getting too clicky. Call me Biggie like Shine Home. <laughs> uh they can help fill Wembley Stadium for real for real. Send Punk and Danielson to the G1 and stop messing around. If that happens, I'll go, I'll be watching every G1 match. Finally watch uh, Sakura Genesis. Very well done. Great show, by the way. I watched it over the weekend. I love Sakura Genesis. I thought the triple threat match, the IWGP women's match with Mercedes Monet Monet. was really good. Really good. I can't wait for Derek to, like, see what's going to happen with the – with that AEW New Japan Forbidden Door show. I really can't wait for Derek to see the the goodness that's going to happen from that show. It's going down. Uh, let's see. So if Punk does come back, Punk versus FTR versus uh, is that supposed to be BCC, BPC versus the Elite at AW Lund- That would be crazy. Ooh. That's a lot of beef right there. Right. There will be blood oh. and lots of it. Uh, there's more focus on AW London than Double or Nothing. That's wild. It's the bigger show. It's the, more people. I love Double or Nothing, but listen, we got to get everything in order. Conrad, you better go to All In. I'm going to tell you and Derek to pony up some money for me. I need a passport. Uh, what's this uh, New Japan, All Japan Pro Wrestling Noah joint? Where the game at? <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom VPW3, please. I would like it. I would like it. I I thought I heard rumors of Yuke's, uh, what is it, Yuke's Osaka division working on a game. Fingers crossed. I would love for it to be a New Japan game. Um, it's the biggest show for overseas. They can sell it out. Somebody re-signed with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Please let me know who. I don't like Discovery. Let me have my HBO. You'll still have that, but there's just going to be more garbage on there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Connor, I bought my very first Bray Wyatt t-shirt with this purple logo. The good thing is the shirt glows in the dark. That's what's up. Nice. That's what's up. We need Bray Wyatt back on TV, man. Yes. He's been playing. James Gunn giving me the signal, Duke Thomas, please. <laughs> uh, people watch NXT UK, it'd be like 11 a.m. <laughs> it's supposed to be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 Pacific. I, I'll take that. See? that, that, that sounds, you'll, you'll be up. That sounds beautiful. You'll be up. Aussie Open versus Best Friends for the IWGP Tag Team Championships this Friday on Rampage will be fire. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We might get the women's blood and guts at All In. Take my damn money, AEW. I would love for that to happen. They they deserve it. They deserve it. Most definitely do. Um, Derek, are you ready? Are you ready for the for the review? Well, yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Why? Yeah, Derek. Daddy, chill. <laughs> I'm gonna just need you to relax, all right? All right, just take it easy with all that. Uh oh, someone said Monet's about to resign. Hell yeah, <laughs> not the big show. <laughs> well, let's kick off this show. Dynamite had uh, a pretty good card tonight for us. This is the lineup. Uh, we start things off here tonight with Swerve, Darby Allen. I'm not Derek. Was this match of the night? This might be my match of the night if I had to pick. It's between this one and I'm gonna say the international championship match. I might go with this one. This might have been my favorite match. I gotta say this is probably my match of the night. If 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 people disagree, I get it. Um, but this this one uh definitely hit the spot for me, right? It was uh it was a really, really good match, I thought. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. 
They did a lot in this. Uh, Darby Allen hits his stunner. Swerve falls to the floor. He launches himself out the ring. Dude, Darby, you got to stop flying like this, bro. I have a fear when you do this. Oh, my God. You know, that that was the fastest tope suicida ever. Bro, but that's how I want you to fly out the ring. Well, it looks true. deadly versus, true, like, though. the little, like, oh, I barely uh, touched you and right. pushed you into the <laughs> gate. Nah, you got to fly like Darby, bro. There's no hope when that man does that. It's game over. Absolutely. Uh, the June 21st, uh, the last AEW Dynamite before Forbidden Door 2 is in Chicago. Love it. Uh, Chicago. <laughs> somebody said, well, where's my repaired hips? <laughs> Y'all leave Big Show alone, man. Uh, this was a fun opener. I loved it. I even liked when Swerve did the move where he uh like swept Darby's legs, kicked him. Darby lands his feet on the ropes, and he did the double stomp, and then Swerve's yes. like looked like he rolled his ankle. Yes. Darby took off his his boot. I don't know if it was the Tims. It wasn't the beef and Brock's, but uh he he definitely went in, bit the man's foot. Yeah. Darby, you a nasty dude. Now listen, there's I'll joke about a lot of things, but one thing I promise you I don't play with feet disgusting nasty i don't mess with those about to have a good case of athletes <laughs> uh boom tough acting to acting the new sponsor for everything pro wrestling feel free to uh, send me dms they're open for sponsorships <laughs> um yeah I, I i don't know bro i don't know like it this this match was crazy it was crazy what they did so swerve's ankle becomes the focus uh, Swerve eventually got Poison Rana from the apron to the floor. Yes. Really good. Uh, coffin drop. Prince Nana puts that foot onto the uh, to the rope, though. Eventually, uh, there was a double stomp by Swerve. Uh, Mogul Embassy gets kicked out. Prince Nana and Brian Cage. Darby hits the code red. Swerve kicks out. Last Supper for the dub. I got nothing, man. I got nothing bad to say about that. I loved it. Nothing at all. It it, it was good. It was good. I, I will still say this is match of the night. <laughs> PJ said, hey, we don't kink shame, although I don't do feet either. I absolutely do not kink shame, but I'm just letting you know, this is, this is my limit. <laughs> this is my limit. If I could hit Keith Lee's music, I would have right there. Man, the fire! <laughs> fire! Oh, that tough acting to act. So following up from that, we really just went right into the next segment. Here comes MJF. His presence was mandatory in Milwaukee. I love the way Milwaukee spelled. That should, that should get a, a little kid out in a spelling bee so fast. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> so coming out, here comes MJF. Uh, Darby talks about MJF. Is he really happy? He's always been the same way everywhere he's went. And Darby said the moment he got a big contract, he enrolled himself into therapy. Right. Nice little plug for therapy. Put it on a positive note, I thought. And uh, while Darby was talking about that, uh, MJF says Darby will always be the same thing. Sting's bitch. (gasps) (laughs) Sting comes out rocking the old school classic. Everybody knows someone who's got that corner store jacket. Yeah. Sting had the little embroider on the back. He didn't care. And uh, Sting was out here to do business. He was mad. And Sting comes out <laughs> and went to his jacket. And he didn't pull out the baseball bat, Derek. What he hit him with? Three pom-poms. Well, no, three black pom-poms and a white pom-pom. Why does this man have pom poms in his jacket? And then Sting kind of cut a promo like he was Joker Sting in oh, TNA. Man, listen, I was feeling it. That that was a dope promo from Sting. And then then he started naming, he started name dropping everything. Ric Flair. He talked Ooh. about who put him over and who yeah. helped him get to the next level yes. because that's what MJF was down in. And he said, "Did I say Cody?" And everyone was like, "Oh." This was not a bad promo segment no. to hand off. I thought they did well with this. They did. They definitely did. It's Sting. It's Dan. Terrell's even better. He said, it's Sting. It hit the WCW Metallica theme. That was a great theme. My man Hub, Hubbard Wrestling Weekly in the chat. He said, good evening, brothers. I'm a little late. 
but I'm here. Conrad, Derek, God bless. Signs of a true superstar equals going away and coming back multiple times, and we get chills every time. Jeff Hart. That is true. We'll, we'll talk about that momentarily with Jeff. I got a little caveat to that that I'd like to add in. But let me say this. Clash of the Podcast every Monday live at 6.05 Eastern Standard Time. Join myself and Sean Hubbard of Hubbard Wrestling Weekly as we talk the latest and greatest in pro wrestling. Join us. Uh, Swerve and Darby Allen and OC and Buddy Matthews for the uh, International Championship where my match of the night. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We got a little Joker sting. I loved it. Um, Pom Pom for MJF. Facts. Facts. Uh, Hub's giving out the salute to the chat. Much appreciated. Sting was on fire. I love this, and I like that they brought back the headlock takeover. I don't think that in this pillar match that MJF is ready to lose yet. No, no. But I still think Darby could be one of the guys. I've been saying this since MJF won it. Honestly, I think out of out of out of everybody in this match, um, out of the pillars, even though MJF has the title, I think Darby will be the first to get it. There's. I personally think there's a lot of hope happening for this. It's it's looking really good, man. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's looking fantastic. <laughs> the intern does uh, Taekwondo, and that's what they tell them to say every time they ask, how are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> and when you said that, I instantly thought of that. Ah. Oh, shoot. That's great. It that is. is. Fantastic. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta love my man, L.A. Knight. Next up, Derek, one of your favorites. My man, Tom Selleck. TNT Powerhouse Hobbs versus, uh, Derek likes to call him Tom Selleck, a.k.a. Silas Young from Ring of Honor. I thought that they were gonna let Silas go out here and work. Um, yeah, he can go in the ring. Si- Silas is is definitely good. Um, I, I was definitely hoping that they would have let him uh, rock out for a little bit, but we kind of got the glimpse of that, and it was just like, yeah, he, no, he's not doing nothing. <laughs> he's not doing nothing. Yeah, like they, yo. Listen, when they let my man Silas Young wrestle, them tights are soaked. Pause. I know. But the man can wrestle. He was in great shape, by the way. He looked even better than he did in Ring of Honor. <laughs> what? I'm telling the truth, bro. Yo, the dude's matches, he, he was getting sweaty, bro. He could go in that ring for like 20, 30. He's good for it. Yeah. He's good for it, bro. But all I'm saying is the man, all he comes out in are the tights. The sweat's going somewhere, fam. He he brings them draws out. It's game over. (laughs) He goes to work in that ring, bro. (laughs) If you've never seen him wrestle live, let me tell you something. It it is is a thing to behold, man. It is. It is. It's definitely something to behold. (laughs) Matt Lopez said they did Silas Young dirty. Listen, man, they put over Powerhouse Hobbs. By the way, he came out on a pretty nice ride, which got jacked up by your boy, Wardlow. Uh, He went out there with, like, a little bar and... Yeah, he jacked this car up. Then he saw a forklift. Nice form. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 for what he did here on it. Uh, He was able to turn and flip the car. He threw a stanchion through it. Uh, Something that I've always wanted to do is just throw a stanchion at something or someone if they ever if it ever called for a reason to. (laughs) And uh, sadly, that dream's never happened for me, but Wardlow was able to do it. Man, listen. We we know we know someone who is definitely a um a car aficionado, uh, how do you say it? Aficionado. aficionado. Yeah. Um, we definitely feel your pain, big dog. <laughs> we 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 know you you were definitely hurting on that one. Listen, it's gonna hurt. That's all I can say, man. They they rest of the company's got money to blow, apparently. Gotta get an angle started. We pay for it. Right. Um, afterwards, Wardlow's music hits because they're about to power bomb. <laughs> They're about to power bomb Silas Young through some tables over on the side, but her, Wardlow's music hits are like, forget it. Right. Wardlow eventually comes out and they start beefing. Right. It's pretty bad. Aaron Solo jumps on his back, he gets thrown off, and then he gets power bombed through the tables. Yep. I have no problem with that. And stop spraying that spray every time in your mouth. Dude, I didn't even know they still made that. Where are you getting that from? 7 Eleven? <sighs> Gotta be. 
I ain't seen that in a minute. That's got to be behind the counter. You got to like request those. Something because uh, I haven't seen those in years. Right? Uh, I went to get a drink and the match was over. Literally, I was very disappointed. Hopefully, we get uh, Silas Young, a.k.a. Tom Selleck, on some Ring of Honor this week. But mm-hmm. I really think he's someone, if you want to have him in the ring, he should definitely be a coach for Ring of Honor or have something to do wow. with Ring of Honor. Absolutely. he He's one of those people who has to have his hand in the mix. But his hand in the mix may not be that bad. Right? Uh, Deanna said War Daddy looked hot. Now, I want y'all to remember this. I tell people all the time. I got girls on Twitter who I'm friends with on here. They be talking about War Daddy like this, and y'all think I'm playing. They're like, Wardlow's not over. Oh, he is. Oh, he he may not be over with you, but he's over. I see a lot of thirst picks about Wardlow. Thirst traps, thirst tweets, whatever you want to call them. Man, listen, way too many. They've been wanting it. Uh, Ward, Wardlow forgot to put the e break on. Yo, yeah, yeah. War, now, see, this is why he lost the point. He would have got 10 out of 10 by me. Why didn't you put the break on? No safety. That's like an automatic fail, bro. You did it perfectly. You tipped the car over, then you went and started wiling out. Honestly, I'm good that he didn't put the safety break, the emergency break on because it, it, it was actually funny to see the forklift actually move after he got out and then just bump right into it. And, so I, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Shut up. <laughs> you got time for that? A little Camp and Tara. Shut up. Shout out to Rob. Uh, what was that car? An old Buick or an Oldsmobile? An old Buick. I don't know if it was a Buick. I don't know. My phone is listening to you. Why is there a WWE sponsored with uh, LA Knight? <laughs> Creepy. I have no idea. Sick. Sick. What's good, bro? Sick. Just because you weren't here before, got to do it one time. Well. All right. Solo got the old Steve Urkel breath spray. Oh. <laughs> Missed the show tonight. I'm going to just talk shit here and there. 1-800-WAR-DADDY. You see? You see? He's over. You got the punk shirt on. He returned tonight or something? Nah. I didn't see. Uh, I don't see dried tears. Right. You, oh, you'll know when it's the punk show. It'll be it'll be the real deal shirt. Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be the good good shirt. Y'all know it's gonna, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bad night. OSHA is pissed. He said OSHA calling up classic boo boo. Did I do that? Yo, y'all wild it in the chat. Wardlow's gonna kill it if he starts to OnlyFans. Well, and as usual, bro, keep Paul White off my television. He's gonna be back. I just want y'all to know, he's going to be back. Yes, he is. He, that he is, and may not be anything you can do about it. <laughs> the only thing you can do is nothing and like it. <laughs> Bullet Club. We heard about Bullet Club Gold, Jay White, and uh, Juicy, my boy, Juicy Robinson. They were talking crazy. Actually, they put that beat down on Ricky Starks. Bro, this is interesting, though. Now with Bullet Club. ELP just got kicked out. You're probably not familiar with El Fantasma. No, nope, not off the top of my head. ELP got kicked out. Avery, I see you messaging me. Let me hold on. Let me turn that sound off. See, this is why my notifications are, are always off, <laughs> right. set to sleep or whatever it's called. Do not disturb. Right. Always got messages coming in. Somebody said NWO Silver. If he comes back, I'm going to blame y'all. You better blame that doctor who gave him them new hips. He coming back. Uh, ELP is going to join AEW, BJ says. That's what I'm thinking. Why not have him in there? Uh, yeah, I got nothing. One match that will sell out Wembley is Captain Insano versus Kenny Omega. Oh, boy. You better pick his big ass up for that one wing angel. ELP is dope. Yeah. One wing it. I swear, don't do this. Don't do this tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. But I think we're going to see a new version of Bullet Club in AEW. So it's going to be Absolutely. Bullet Club Gold. Jay White's still heading it up. But I think at Forbidden Door, we can see an interesting clash between yes. Bullet Club members. David Finley and his crew versus the Jay White version of it. Or do they accept them and have a tag match with them? I don't know. 
interesting. That Avery, tell him I said less Texan and more consumption of broccoli. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh wing ed. Stop it. Stop it. Wing ed. Next up. Orange Cassidy, Buddy Matthews, AEW International Championship. This was something else. They've been really pushing the narrative and storyline that Orange Cassidy has been beat to shit, and he is not going to be able to last too much longer in all of this. Right. He's been uh, suffering as a champion. Uh, His hand was taped up. He had an orange punch early on, couldn't do too much. While he's there getting his hand checked immediately after, Buddy Matthews comes up and he stomps that shit. Like, it worked for me. Uh, Buddy Matthews is really, really good, and I feel like we should see more of him. We and, should. But he's in a higher position than he was in WWE, I feel. I know he's oh, still yeah. in, like, that follower kind of role. But I think when he's on TV, it's more meaningful. And I would love for him and Kenny Omega to get a one-on-one match. Even if it's on Dynamite, if you give him, like, 20 minutes, I think these two would tear it oh, down. Without a doubt. Um, that, 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 that's, that's a given. That is a given. Nothing more you can say about it. It's... It's what needs to happen, actually. Right? Deanna said, I want a clash of all the Bullet Club leaders. You have to go to the E for that, too. Oh, yeah. Ain't Jeff Jarrett technically a former Bullet Club member? See, see, you're right, but I don't I don't want to hear that blasphemy right now about Jeff Jarrett being in Bullet Club. Uh, we, we already know what, what's coming. <laughs> that damn guitar shot. Buddy got cake. Wow. <laughs> Buddy deserves a rematch. Buddy got abs for days. I feel like I'm talking about Buddy the Elf when I keep saying this. <laughs> Orange is the Iron Man B. This is the real TV title. Iron would be proud. Put a red strap on the international title, he says. This is this title has been, honestly, this is probably right behind the world championship in order of prestige lately. Like, yeah. The international title feels like they're, ta-da. It, it feels like it has a lot, a lot, a lot of value behind it. They did a good job, man. Uh, great back and forth ending sequence with lots of DDTs by Orange. That's been his favorite oh, move as of late, but Buddy absolutely. sells it like a beast. Uh, curb stomp to Orange. He kicks out, but eventually that damn mousetrap catches everybody. Orange gets the dub, and I loved it. Uh, he he was never kicked out. Wait, what? Oh, it's, it's my world. <laughs> He never wears that shirt, though. If he starts coming out in that trench coat with Bullet Club on the back, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, oh, man. You know what's happening, bro. <laughs> Wait, Matt Matt Lopez, I love you, but don't get timed out. Wishing that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> you need uh, you need to add that to the soundboard. I, I think I'll get in trouble for that one. Je- Jeff's still out here doing podcasts. <laughs> International Championship, more prestigious than the TNT title. I feel like it is lately. Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. I, I definitely feel like it, it. the value on that is extremely, extremely high. Eric Douglas said, I want to see Hater versus Cargill so bad. That would be dope. Uh, he said, great match, loved it. Yeah, like I said, it's between this and the opener for match of the night. If, if I had to argue which one was which, I'll, I'll take either one. Uh, we got people saying, Jay would destroy Jamie. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Jamie Jamie puts on some bangers. Banger. Um, Luchasaurus and Christian had a promo backstage. I don't know where this is leading to. I don't know if this is a tag team thing. I'm I'm kind of confused myself. Um, definitely trying to figure out like what what the motive is behind all this. <laughs> it's about to beat Jungle Boy up again. I don't know. I don't know, but I like Christian is still with Luchasaurus. Yeah, no, that 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 definitely helps Luchasaurus out because he doesn't have the mouthpiece to to carry himself. Now you're the biggest Edge fan that I know. Do you want Edge? And Christian to retire together, or do you think Edge will retire in WWE? Christian retires in AEW. I want to say <clears throat> that they both retire on separate grounds. I definitely feel like they're they're, they're not going to retire together. I like, would love to see one last like tag run with them, but oh my god, that bro, that that would be the dopest tag run ever. Right, uh, TNT title should have been on Eddie, he says. I agree. I think Eddie's going to get a title one day. It's going to be the most beautiful day. Not Guerrero. Oh, Kingston. How dare you? Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero on top. My God, what a frog splash. 
<laughs> Remember, Jay White is the one who brought in Ace Austin and Chris Bay in the Bullet Club. I could see them joining the black and gold version of it because they're an impact. Bullet Club's getting like international. Yes, they are. They, they're they're making the moves. Uh, Imagine if AJ and Finn started rocking it in the E. That'd be oh. crazy. But then we're going to have to get Anderson and Gallows back in. Then we got to find somewhere for Tom and Tonga to go. But I hope this doesn't go the route of like NWO, Black and White, and Wolfpack. Can't be having that foolishness now. None whatsoever. You a Wolfpack guy or were you Black and White? Wolfpack. Same, same. Get, give me Sting with the little, oh. little ear, the little ears and all that shit when he was doing that. Right? I need one more Edge and Christian tag match. Yeah, that'd be dope. One day. Although it'd be cool to see Eddie and MJF's reign, but that probably won't happen. Uh you never know, Terrell. You never know. Christian was, I don't think it will either, but never say never. Christian was buried and went to hell and asked for his dinosaur back. They remembered them brood days. He got to bring them the bodies. Uh, I think it's separate, but Edge and Christian get inducted to the Hall of Fame together. Yes. Don't hate that idea, T. Uh, Luchasaurus looking like a bootleg T Rex Megazord. Shout out to Carl Anderson fans out there. <laughs> yeah, that was the hater thing to say. BJ said, don't turn your back on the Wolf Pack. And don't forget the greatest Bullet Club member, Bone Soldier. I love Bone Soldier. Shout out to Bone Soldier. Um, Getting back into this. Best friends make a challenge to Aussie Open for Rampage for the IWGP tag titles. That should be a banger. New IWGP tag champs, by the way. Spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Too late. I already spoiled it. Ethan Page and Matt Hardy have a segment together. And he says, what the hell did you put in that contract? He said that they were free, and uh, they talked about having a match. Yo, the firm, yo, Isaiah Cassidy got launched. I don't know if it was uh, Big Bill who did this shit or what. I think I think it was Big Bill who did it. Too much momentum, bro. Oh, yeah. He went flying into the apron. I know them glasses were broken that he was wearing. Oh, man. He ain't going to be doing no moaning tonight being funny. It's going to be a real moan. That joint, he went down like a ton of bricks. Like so, way too hard. Way too hard. The firm then come back. And they are able to stop uh, what is happening here. And we get the return of Jeff Hardy. Um, Now, listen, I know some people are going to be happy about this. I'm happy Jeff is safe. I want Jeff to continue to be safe. Right. But I also want Jeff to do better. I want Jeff to be better. Right. The moment we let our guard down, that's when we got to remember to remind Jeff, like, hey, listen, man, I care about you. You fucking up. Tone it down. Tone it down. All right. No more of that shit, man. Uh, he got hit hard. Yeah, he did. Cool chair. Oof, Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even gonna say too much else. He's back. Hardy yeah. boys are back. Uh, I don't know if Mark Quinn's back. I haven't seen him in a while, so I don't know if he's still out injured or something. May have to uh ask some of my uh my uh people that I know what's right. going on with him. Uh, I want Jeff to be healthy and sober and have one last great run. Pop for Jeff, please. No more DUIs. Don't do that. Do DDP yoga or something. Something. Some. Something to um keep you occupied with your time, so you're not getting distracted. Like we all want you safe. We all want you healthy. Um, at the end of the day, we can't do it for you. You got to do it for yourself, and you have to want to do it. But we are all pulling for you. Oh, he said, now nah, we just need Punk back, and this is prime AEW, in his opinion. I, I can agree with that. Following up, we get a BCC Elite recap of everything that's been going on. Don Callis, head being split open, bro. Derek saw I almost lost my dinner. I was like, hey, yo, yo, you got to tell me before you show that. It was like a big, nasty, gaping hole, and I still ate truck. You know I'm going to eat, but, but still, I was just like, ooh, well, ooh, that well, looked well. bad. Yeah, like he had a mean gash in oh, his head. Yeah. Like it looked yeah. open, open. And I felt bad for uh, Don seeing that. They actually got a little sympathy out of me. Right. And then Kenny Omega cuts a promo. And Kenny Omega says he's not in the building tonight, but he's going to get revenge on the BCC for what they did. Coming up next, it was a match that I'd like to call a sacrifice. John Moxley and Claudio Castagnoli, the Ring of Honor World Champion, versus Brandon Cutler and Michael Nakazawa. When I say this was an ass whipping, I'm not joking. It oh. was an ass whipping from Man. pillar to post, start to finish, beginning to end. The asses were whipped and it commenced. 
Um, dude, blood was everywhere. Nakazawa was bleeding first. He yes. just got blood squirting all out of his head. Moxley loved it. Brandon Cutler's bleeding on the outside. He's got blood going through his mask. Mm. AEW Games, take notes. And during this, they bring Nakazawa in the ring. Cesaro's swinging him. This motherfucker's coming out of his shoes. What are we doing? This is like abuse. It reminded oh. me of someone on the playground just doing right. this shit. <laughs> Go ahead. You can hit it. <laughs> Stelios. Stelios. They were busting these boys' asses, bro. Right at the bottom of the uh, of the slide, just oh, dirty, man. bro. Dude, why why did they do him like that, bro? They tried to let Cutler fire up, and it looked so bad that Moxley was selling it. And I was like, "Yo, Moxley should just be no selling all this and just beating his ass." Yes, that that, that that's just uh, come on, bro, do your thing. I'm gonna knock you on your ass. But let, let, here, do your thing. Right? Uh, I didn't realize how bad, but his head was like, damn. <laughs> the reports uh, when that happened said that medically could they could see Callus's skull. Yikes. Yeah, poor Cutler. <laughs> he said, arf, arf, dog walking. Arf, arf. Yeah, they got it. That was ass whipping central. I wouldn't mind seeing Punk back, but it, you're never too old to learn a lesson. And Punk's lesson to learn is... It pays to shut the fuck up sometimes. Not every action warrants a reaction. I ain't mad at that. Nope, not at all. Uh, knocked him out of his case, Swisses. Oh, come on. Dude. Free shoes. Stelios. <laughs> Stelio Cantos. Was a beat down. Bro, they ended up stopping the match, bro. Like, the Rico LeBond was happening as the ref rung the bell. Like, yo, it's a, it was TKO and no mercy. Oh, absolutely. Like, it, it was the, 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 the shit said danger, and they were trying to get up, and they fell back down. They were like, yeah. That's it. I can't let this happen on my watch. <laughs> no more. No, no, no more. No. Gotta let it be what it is. Knocked out of his knock old boy out of his lungs. Molly Wop to the tenth power. Mox barely sold, but yeah, that looked like shit for a seven plus year veteran in Brandon. Done, man. GG. Uh following up from that though, the ref calls it off. Here comes Kenny Omega. He lied. He lied. Kenny Omega was here. He shows up to attack uh, the BCC. They're putting a beat down on. Now, while watching this, I did not like how this all played out. I like that Kenny came out, but Kenny was taking his sweet time. Oh, Kenny yeah. was looking yoked up like New Japan Kenny when he was the world champ finally. Yes. He was looking pretty yoked. And then uh, that man was kizzut. The bullet, I love, or excuse me, I almost said the bullet club because I started talking, thinking New Japan Kenny. The elite show up behind the young bucks. They super kick Moxley and Claudio. Claudio gets to sell like a big man here. Moxley yes. goes down from the one, but then they both step back and super kick Claudio together. This was really good. Moxley gets stuck then in the corner, and he doesn't move. And I'm like, bro, all you got to do is fall. And Kenny, they spent way too much time looking at him. Yeah, that 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 whole that whole part right there was a little awkward. It was just like, all right, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Like, do what you're supposed to do and be done with it. Very awkward and weird. I did not like that. So Kenny then ran over, tried to stab him. Screwdriver in the turnbuckle. Uh, they get, a, they run away. I feel like we're getting an anarchy in the arena match at double or nothing. Oh yeah, that would be my bet. Uh, and I'm gonna love it. It's gonna be crazy. I think this is their opportunity as well to uh, make up for that horrible Revolution match where the uh, sprinklers or sprinklers and sparklers went off instead of the big explosion. Uh. Could do it here if you want to try and make up for it. I don't know. Though. I mean, you could, but oh, and I when, when I say make up for, I mean like show out. You could add that in though if you wanted to. I don't know if people would understand what it was for, but probably not. But the ones that that um, knew that this was supposed to happen, they, they'll, they'll take that and be like, listen, bring it in. Let's 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 finish that off because that was a great match until that it, finish happened. It was. Let's finish. Kenny it off. in those tight fitting jeans. <laughs> Told you, you got to watch who the ladies are over with. But feel like he should have came out sooner. Pause. Kenny had the black and silver hair play. <laughs> black and silver hair. The Bucks were wearing all black. Uh, where was Daniel Bryan? Bryan? I don't know where Bryan Danielson was in this. Like, yeah, I think he was at home, I guess. I don't know if they said it on commentary. Commentary was tuned out a lot tonight after oh, the Sting bro. stuff. I was like, yeah, whatever, yeah. guys. Keep it moving. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of fluff in all of this tonight. Um, following up from that, we got a backstage interview here with Swerve Cage and Prince Nana. Uh, and they said tonight they're leaving here with something. 
up next, we have ourselves the, uh, did this one not transfer in? Darn it. It was the women's tag here at the bottom of your uh, left side here. It was Ruby, or excuse me, Ruby Soho, Tony Storm versus Riho and Sky Blue. I thought this was a fun match. I felt like tonight the feud lost its steam a little. Yeah, it, it seemed like it. Like, uh, or, or we're in kind of like a holding pattern. I, we need something to amp this back up, whether it's a new member or something. Yes, you have to. Um, got got to get it back on 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 the right track. Got to get it moving. Um, you need something bigger than what you got. Shout out to Sky Blue as well, who is officially all elite. But um, yeah, I don't know what Eric's gonna be able to to I tell us for what he thinks. That was so weird. <laughs> play so eric <laughs> is gonna probably tell us what he thinks or even in the comment section eric i'd love to hear what you thought of this but where do we go from here i would like to hear um what some of you guys think for for the women's division uh let's see here the shield that shield bomb bummed me uh out on top of this feeling flat yeah yeah it just yeah it it, it definitely wasn't there like it should have been it's not dead though. I still no. think there's time to dust it off and pick it up, but I I just wanted it to have a little more oomph tonight. Yes, that 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 would have been well received, and we would have been in a better place. That's it. Uh, by the way, uh, Ruby Soho and Tony Storm got the win. Pile driver, big dub for them. Uh, I thought everybody looked fine in the match though. Sky Blue has been getting better. Uh, need a new member for the Outcast ASAP. I think Brit them needs someone to side with them, or oh, at least absolutely. tell us what you're doing with as far as uh, some of the other folks. I agree. You need you need just something else. But when you add it, or well, before you add it, make sure you thoroughly decide this is what you're going to do because I hate to see an opportunity get wasted on poor vision. Yeah. Yeah. Time will tell with this one. This is one of those wait and sees. I know people hate to hear that sometimes in wrestling, but I do think it is true. Sometimes just fall back and let's see what they're going to do. Absolutely. You have to. Um, Let me pull up what Matt Lopez has sent me. Or wait, I have it right here. Excuse me. I was going to do it on my phone, but I forgot I had opened this before. So let's see the, the matchups here for next week. Rampage Aussie Open versus the Best Friends is going to be going down. We got Emmy Sakura versus Taya Valkyrie. That should be a banger. Uh, Jungle Boy Jack Perry versus Sean Spears. And I think Sean Spears was dropping a promo on uh, TV. And we got Jay Briscoe, Jay Lethal versus Jeff Jarrett and uh, the big man Singh in the house. Uh, should be really, really good here. Um, Dynamite had some matches announced, too. I believe it was Dr. Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter versus... Uh, was it Soraya and uh, Tony Storm? I think. I think. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Blue Chew and Riho was there uh, when Willow should have had Jamie make the final save and play her music. Uh, she's the hot hand and not broke back DMD. Oh. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Wish I could be at the uh, pit show next week. Damn work, LOL. Yeah, uh, next week they're going to be in Pittsburgh. Britt Baker, she got a pretty good pop. She almost fell like twice in this, though. Yeah. Some big-ass pants and them slippery Doc Martens. Man, listen, got to take those Docs off. <laughs> they, some people love them, man. Oh, I know a lot of people that love them. Yeah, so they're going to be rocking out here. Ruby and Tony versus Britt and uh, Hater next week. Yeah. Rampage is also going to be live after the NBA playoffs, so keep an eye on that if you usually watch after SmackDown and you're trying to watch live. And it's time for the main event, uh, Chris Jericho versus Keith Lee. I do not have a lot of notes for this one. This match was pretty slow if you're looking for like a slower paced match, but it was fine for what it was. Um, Keith Lee and Jericho, Garcia was interfering, getting Jericho on offense. Jericho at one point went for a lion salt, and uh, Keith Lee was able to kick out and sent Jericho flying after that. Jericho blocks a second rope moonsault with his knees. When Keith Lee landed on him, Jericho was holding his knees after. He was like, damn. Uh, then he ate a spine buster for his troubles. Looked really good, the one-handed spine buster. Uh, walls of Jericho on Keith Lee. Keith Lee then hits his sit-out powerbomb. He's got the pen. The ref's distracted, dealing with a bunch of other stuff with Garcia and such. And swerve with the ring bell to the head. Ding. Hit that no mercy ding. 
And uh, down he goes. Jericho pins him. GG. Jericho wins. Adam Cole comes out. And I think they must have forgot on NXT when uh, Keith Lee made Adam Cole disappear off the screen because they were like, they're good friends. And I'm like, all I kept thinking about was that pounce once they hit that. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was it. Adam Cole. We're going towards Adam Cole, Chris Jericho at double or nothing, though. So so I'm confused. What was this, what was this match even made for? Jericho last week was talking about why he, he felt disrespected by Cole. And then Keith Lee said, you've disrespected everyone around here. And I'm going to teach you a lesson in respect. Okay. Makes sense now. Uh, somebody said, Wizard Lee. Swerve has unfinished business with Lee. Yeah. They brought that back. All right. But why main event? We need Punk to save us from Jericho's ego. Come on now, E. When Adam Cole came out, I was waiting for Lee to punt him into the crowd. Oh. Swerve not done with Lee. No, no. This is going to be a big matchup, I think, once it's time for it. And I think that should be on the double or nothing card, too. Absolutely. Um, It's going to be good, man. They've, they've built this one up for a long time here. I may or may not have added uh, the pounce to my signature in 2K. Hey, you got it, man. The pounce is a great move. But chat, chat, let me know what your scores were for the show tonight. Uh, Derek, I'm going to go to you first. Um. This one's tough. This this show this week was definitely weak. Um, oh, you didn't, you weren't feeling it at all. I thought you had two banger matches with the opener. No, I, I did, but um, I thought progressively it was like going down, sort of though. Yeah. Um, I, um, I, I'll give it a uh, give it a B minus. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go with tonight. I'm gonna go with a six point seven. Not bad, not like a six and a half. I thought it was a little bit better than that, right. but I, I still would say I enjoyed tonight's show overall. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, these guys got it. Seven out of ten. I'm seeing some people say if I was grading on a curve, I would do that. Uh laughing my ass off. Dot dynamite Molly Wap NXT all in the months, and now they got all the stars. Just need Bobby Fish. This ace at seven out of ten. If only I could get that Monty Brown shimmy afterwards. <laughs> it's going down, down, down. Marcus Corvan. Uh, seven out of ten. A, we need punk for an A plus. Jesus said thumbs up for him. Seven point five out of ten for AW. Ten out of ten for EPW. Joker Sting gets an eleven out of ten. Seven out of ten feels right. Seven out of ten. Ten out of ten for EPW as always. Thank you. Only Joker Sting beating me out. <laughs> Joker Sting over Rob Zombie. Don't be cruel. Uh, I'm trying to think. There are some updates coming to the AEW Fight Forever game. It sounds like it's in the publishing stages. It sounds like we're getting towards the end here. We're getting closer to a release date. Be patient. Give it time. Uh, Lots to happen. What do y'all think of that Cody promo responding to the fans and critics saying he's not ready to be champ? I don't know. With Cody, I feel weird about him lately these days. Like, I felt like they wasted a lot of time with Cody. They could have they could have did something else more with it and they did. Um I don't know, man. We'll see. Once he gets the title shot, like are they gonna do it at SummerSlam or are you wait until next year's mania? I think timing is gonna matter with all of this. I'd say SummerSlam. Timing is that that timing for that. I don't know, man. That's a lot of time in between. You gotta hope everything falls perfectly. There's not enough big matchups. No. Cody wins it. Who's he gonna face? Not a lot of people there. And they're on a hiring freeze. Not a good time. Not a good time right now. But I thought Cody's promo was all right on Monday. I'm just, I'm weird about the overall booking right now for them. Rob Zombie over WWE booking Cody to lose. Rollins Reigns, WrestleMania 40. I did hear people chiming in about that as well. We got goodness on the horizon. I think it's going to be a great summer for WWE and AEW. It's going to be time for them to uh, show who's better. Uh, Cody back to job in the Brock. I hope they don't have him lose. Uh, WWE lost me after that in the following Raw. Cody can't get back what he could have had if he won at Mania. It's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. It's going to be a tough sell. Rob Zombie over Gomez Adams. Damn. <laughs> Bad booking. Bad booking. Bad booking. Bad booking. Bad booking. Yeah, don't watch that shit. Make sure you guys are always here for everything pro wrestling. You guys are all greatly and much appreciated around these parts. 
Uh, help us get to that 2K, man. I feel like we're really close to it. We're a couple hundred away. Let's tell some people about everything pro wrestling, man. Word of mouth is the best thing. People trust your word more than anything. So uh, pass it around. Let us know the original monsters over Rob Zombie's UFC. What could have been made? What could have made more sense was uh, Cody defeat Roman and then Cody versus Brock for the belt to tease the WWE UFC deal. <laughs> Rob said, "Clipping that, send it to me." Are y'all going to watch Impact Rebellion this Sunday? What a hater! I'm gonna try to watch it for sure. Rebellion's card looks pretty good. I know they got to fill in some spots for injuries and stuff like that, but I'm looking forward to Kushida versus Macklin. Should be a good one. Guys, I'm going to let you get out of here early tonight. I won't hold you up too long. This has been another fantastic episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. Keep it locked for your boys. Don't forget to hit comment, like, share. Leave us five-star review on all of the podcasts. For myself, uh-oh, I'll try to have designs next week. Y'all remember this. Hold BJ to this now. Mm-mm. Hold him to this. I've been waiting for that one. Uh, I might watch it. Uh, maybe Cody could be Impact Champion. I th- he was pretty close. He said, like the vid. Thank you. Tell your friends. Spread it word of mouth. For myself and the man they called Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. One. Pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes, by the fans, uh, for the fans. Uh, not many in this can understand. Uh, this the podcast to show you who I am. Uh, Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans. Uh, please listen every day to the showcase. The opinions and knowledge that anyone can take, showing you. How it is done, proving I am number one, what a legend becomes. This is now my time to show you that I am here. Uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear. Uh, by the fans, uh, for the fans, uh, not many who's here can understand. Uh, Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people, the best show that's here. So listen in, let the knowledge begin, the opinions, the lesson, yes.